Hey guys, good morning. It is like four o'clock in the morning and um, I'm headed to the airport. I'm running, well, no, I'm on schedule. So I just called an Uber. Uber should be here pretty soon. I'm wearing my pink pearls because it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Um, not too much makeup because uh, like I said, it's like four o'clock in the morning. I have to be at the airport by five. So, yeah. <laughs> you want to give me the best. You want to give me the best that you have. So I made it. I made it to the airport. Um, I'm going to go to the crew room. I'm probably not going to be able to go back to sleep. But, um... I have my phone on vibrate, so if crew scheduling calls me and they need me, I'm here. This is the life of a um, life of a reserve flight attendant. Airport is like it's pretty empty right now. A lot of people aren't here, so it's not even five o'clock yet. Okay, it's five minutes to five. I'm gonna go check in the crew room. Yeah. I have to be here so early and it's like I'm not tired anymore. Like I try to go back to sleep, but I'm not tired. So I'm gonna check in. I feel like I need to repaint my nails. I don't know. I might do that because I can't get back to sleep now. It's like I'm up now. I got up at 3, left my house by 4.15. And um, I need to check in because I have a 5 o'clock check-in. And I'm just on call until crew scheduling calls me if they need me. Whew. Hey y'all. <sighs> they got me y'all. <sighs> so, I don't know if I told y'all the last time oh, my bag was dropping. I don't know if I told y'all, but I've been on airport reserve. So I don't know what day this is. So. I ran out of my airport reserve days, and I'll probably have to explain this later, but I ran out of those days because I can only put you on those for a certain amount of days each month. So I've been on home reserve and I'm like, oh, they're not gonna call me, right? So I'm out and running errands or whatever. And I was gonna pick up this trip, but then I was like, no, I'll pick up part of it tomorrow, right? They called me, y'all, they got me good. Here I am on my way to the airport. I wasn't even ready. No bags, packs, nothing. Thankfully, we have a two hour call out window. So they have to give us at least a minimum of two hours to get to the airport. <laughs> they got me. They gave me two hours and 20 minutes. I almost turned it down, but then I looked at the time. I'm like, nope, nope, it's legal. So I'm on my way. I have a three day trip. Uh, lay over in Boston, which should be pretty cool because, um, from what my classmates that were in training with me, from what they told me, um, the hotel in Boston is pretty nice. So, and it's a decent, it's a decent label layover. So I'll be in Boston tonight and then the next night as well. So a three day trip, both layovers in Boston. <sighs> And I got like 45 minutes, I played myself. <laughs> oh my gosh. Just remember, stay ready so you don't have to get ready. Checking for all the crazies before I get settled in. I 
give y'all a room tour in a second. Hey y'all, sorry if the quality is bad, but I just got back. It wasn't bad, we did two legs, one to, what was the first one, Kansas City, and then to Boston. So that's where I am now, I'm in Boston. This is a cute little hotel, it's cute, it's quaint. The only thing is, is that there's no microwave, so I'm gonna have to get real creative and figure out how I'm gonna heat up my food because I I told y'all I got this flight at the last minute and I'll explain like what happened, but I got this flight at the last minute, this trip rather, this three day trip at the last minute and y'all wasn't prepared at all. <laughs> I had part of my backpack, but not everything. So I didn't even finish eating my food. So I'm going to unwind. Okay, y'all. Uh, ooh, I feel like I'm like lopsided. Let me fix y'all. Okay. They play me. Like, cruise can... <laughs> So, I am on reserve. Like I was telling you guys earlier, I had been doing airport reserve for a while. And then, because um, you're only allowed to do with my airline, you're only, they can only make you do airport reserve for, I believe it's seven or eight days. And... I, I hit the max for the month so they can't you know make me do it anymore for the month but I'm on home reserve so I've been on home reserve since yesterday and today I had some errands to run and I'm like you know what they're not gonna call me because usually when I'm on home reserve they don't you know they don't call me and that's been the case for most of my classmates so my class um, the people that I train with we have like this like um, chat group we have sorry I'm eating but we have a Facebook group, uh, not Facebook group, we have like a chat group where we'll like, you know, talk about different things, whatever, whatever. But anyway, one of my classmates, they post um, a trip, like someone they, they met, uh, another FA they met is um, trying to drop their trip. It was like a, is a three day trip starting today and ending on Saturday. One of the legs was in Boston. And I was like, you know what, because I just, I wasn't in the mood to take a flight today. And I wasn't prepared, really, to be honest with you. Even though I know you're supposed to be prepared, you on home reserve, supposed to be ready to go to the airport within two hours. But, like I said, for me, that just hasn't been the case, so it was like the last thing in my mind. And I looked at the trip after they posted it and said this is what the trip that they were giving away. And I was like, well, I don't want to do it today, but I was like, well, I can pick it up in Boston because there was a layover in Boston and then on Friday the trip uh, begins in Boston obviously so I was like okay I can do the Boston leg from Friday and Saturday so the guy was going to give it to me but then and I hope I'm not getting too technical but if I am I'll do a video later explaining like I guess flight attendant terminology but anyway when you're a line holder, that means that you can pick your trips, you can pick your schedule, whatever. You're not at the beck and call of the company. When you're on reserve, like me, when you're starting out, you just have to be available whenever they tell you available. You only know your guaranteed days off. Everything else is reserve or on call. So, you know, he asked me to send him, send him my schedule. I sent him my schedule, and then he's like, oh, no, I don't do reserve. I was only trying to drop a trip so you know because he's going to Miami tomorrow so he's just he just wanted to drop his whole trip so he can go to Miami you know which is fine I get that but he was like no just forget it so I was like okay whatever put it out the back of my mind I kid you on not not five minutes later I get a call from crew scheduling guess what they put me on the same trip the same trip the guy just ends up dropping it into open time. Crew gets in the call and say, hey, we got a trip for you. We want you to be at the airport in two hours. So yeah, I ended up doing the trip anyway. But not just the Friday and Saturday lay like I wanted. I end up doing today, which is Thursday, tomorrow, Friday, and then Saturday. A three-day trip. But it's all good. It'll be some good per diem for me. I'm, I'm grateful for it. Um, thankfully, tomorrow we're not leaving for the van. The van doesn't pick us up, pick us up until 4:15. So we pretty much get the whole day tomorrow. 
this is a nice hotel from what they said well, again i'm not complaining it wasn't a bad flight please lord let tomorrow and um saturday be the same way tomorrow is not bad we have um two legs two flights tomorrow and then saturday is two legs as well so you know it's a pretty pretty easy schedule decent layover so i can't complain anyway guys i am going to um finish i know this is like y'all sustainability i save my jars like when i buy glass jar when you buy that when you buy glass jars from the grocery store or wherever save them because you never know what you could reuse them i find myself reusing my glass jars all the time so it's very very resourceful so this is just an old recycled um can that not can but um jar that i reuse and i put my soup in there from this morning not this morning but this afternoon because i tried to um anyway i tried to um eat it before I left but I, I didn't even have time I thought I was gonna be late that's a whole nother story but anyway y'all I'm gonna finish eating my soup take off my the rest of my uniform makeup and all that stuff and get really really comfortable I'm tired like I said it's like almost one o'clock but thankfully we have pretty much most of the day tomorrow and I have like I still have homework and stuff to do it's another reason why I didn't want to take this trip because I have homework thankfully not like a bunch of projects and stuff but I just wanted to get kind of caught up on some stuff but anyway so yeah that's it guys and I will catch up with you guys in the morning see ya let's look at this view that I have let's see lovely right good morning guys so it is a little bit after 10 the hotel they offer free breakfast not like I think it's like hot breakfast so I'm going to try to go down there I don't know if they would have anything for me to eat but I'm gonna try to go down there and see you know what they have I did bring my own items so in case they don't have anything that I want you know I have I have options but I don't know I want like guys like I love potatoes so I'm like I want some hash browns like I'll be just good with that you know I can keep the eggs and all that stuff but some hash browns right now yeah so um I'm gonna go down get some breakfast I still have some homework and things to do thankfully we don't have a show time until 4 15 so I pretty much have the whole day I don't know I don't know what's around here because I was gonna say like maybe I can explore uh, Boston and see but like you I don't know I'm gonna ask when I go downstairs I'm gonna ask the front desk and see what's like what's around here but then again I'm like I'll be here tomorrow oh no not tomorrow today I'll be here again today I have another layover back here again today so I'm spending the night here today and then working at like tomorrow and going home. So yeah, so I do have time to explore if I want to explore. I do have a lot of work and stuff to do because I didn't get anything done yesterday because like I told y'all, I was not expecting to take this trip today. That was not on my agenda, but the company had other plans. So yeah. Oh my goodness. But yeah, I will. I'm going to head downstairs. I will chat with you guys in a bit. <laughs> You wanna give me the best You wanna give me the best that you have Woo. Your grace give me things I don't deserve I didn't earn it I think I'm worthless Yeah You took me from the bottom And told me I'm the head so breakfast was a well I don't want to say it was a bust but it was disappointing but not surprising for those of you that are vegan you understand like when you go places majority of the time they're not accommodating unless it's like an exclusively vegan restaurant it's hard to you have to get creative like if you're vegan and plant-based you know what I mean you have to get really creative to find options for you but 
So I'm thinking this was a hot breakfast. They didn't have any hot meals except for oatmeal, like even their sandwiches. I was thinking it was gonna be like breakfast sandwiches. I'm not a meat eater, but I thought it was going to be like, you know, like those egg and whatever burrito things. They had like sandwiches, but they were mostly like, uh, what do you call those? Egg sandwiches, like egg salad sandwiches, like on regular bread, like the box, the box lunch style. So, and we got, as a part of our deal with our airline, we got two free items off of the menu. So, since there wasn't a lot for me to choose from, I just got a latte. I try to stay away from caffeine, but I don't feel tired, well, especially not after drinking this. I don't feel tired, but I have some work and stuff to do, so, and it was free, so I'm like, whatever. So, I got a latte. Mm. And they did have grapes, so I got some lattes and a latte with soy milk. I try to stay away from soy milk, but as y'all can see, they didn't have any like almond milk or anything. You never know. I always ask anyway because you just never know, but I try to stay away from soy. If they absolutely don't have almond milk or coconut milk, then I will go for soy milk, obviously, over whole milk, dairy, dairy milk. So I got the soy latte, my grapes. I brought my own food, so I'm not too worried about it, but I was gonna try to save my food if they had good options for me, but they don't, so it's cool. I'm just going to have my um, breakfast that I brought on my own. So I have my um, my Kind Bar, which is really good. This has like seven, this is the breakfast, the breakfast honey oat. It has like seven grams of protein in it. I brought some almond butter, so and I have my grapes. So I'm just gonna have that for right now. I do have some work to do, so I wanna try to answer some emails, try to finish up some homework. I really, I wanna take advantage of this long layover. It's not even 11 o'clock yet, and I don't have to be, the van doesn't pick me and my crew up until 4.15, so I have a lot of time. I wanna take advantage of it. I don't know if I'll be able to get another nap in, but I do want to get some work done, you know, while I'm here. So, oh, I forgot to tell you guys, I found the microwave, so I don't have to get creative with heating up my food. The microwave is on this floor, so I don't have to go downstairs. It's just by the ice machine, which is like around the corner from my room, so it's not that bad. So that's good because I brought, um, oops, excuse me, y'all, bra showing. I brought, um, what did I bring? Oh, I brought soup. I brought like this vegan kale lentil soup so I can warm that up. Yeah, this I love, I like long layovers like this because the flight, well the flights are not quick but you're able to get a lot more done versus when you have a report time of early the next morning. I feel like the day is pretty much wasted but at least now I have a lot of time I can eat, I can relax in my room, get work done. If there was stuff around here, I would go exploring. I took a quick peek outside, but there's really nothing out there. And I saw one of uh, the captain from last night's flight. He was down there. He's not doing this leg with us. He's going somewhere else, I forgot. But I asked him, because he stayed here before, he said that there's really nothing like in this area. And as you guys could see from the view, this is like, I think this is like an industrial area, so. But like I said, it's all good. I am gonna get some work done, eat my breakfast, and finish, ooh. My throat is so dry. Anyway, I'm gonna eat my breakfast, finish my latte, get some work done, and I will check in with you guys in a bit. <laughs> you wanna give me the best? You wanna give me the best that you have? Okay, we're gonna try this again. This is my second time filming this. I'm still trying to learn how to do this whole vlogging thing. I usually just, you know, do something else. But, um, yeah, so this is what I'm wearing. I have a uh, vest that goes over this, and I'll put that on later. The vest has, like, my wings on them, but... I have my studs on. We can't wear big earrings, so I have my studs on. Pink pearls. 
pink pearl bracelet in my company we wear pink for breast cancer awareness month october they were out of the pink dresses i wanted the pink dress but i saw another flight attendant she had some pink pearls that she said that she got from a local beauty supply store for a dollar so i did the exact same thing and it worked out so yeah this is what i'm wearing today i was gonna wear my dress but um yeah i changed my mind so this is what i'm wearing so i'm about to head downstairs because the van will be here in 20 minutes i like to get there a little bit early because you never know so and i have to meet my crew for today well Flying was the same FA as yesterday, but we have a new captain and first officer. So, yeah, and I will check in with you guys later. <laughs> you want to give me the best. You want to give me the best that you have. Woo. Your grace, give me things I don't deserve. So, um, I just got, we just got back and we're back at Boston. We did two legs. They weren't too bad. The first one, I, I was kind of struggling because I'm new, but I said I wasn't going to do a room tour because I'm thinking, watch we get the same room as last time. But the lady at the front desk when I checked in, she was like, oh, this is a nice room. I was like, okay, we'll see about that. If it's not nice, I'm coming back down here, right? I come in here, oh my goodness, it is three times the size of the room that I had yesterday, king size bed. I'm gonna show you guys and give you, I'm, I have to give you guys a tour because it's just, it's that nice. So the only thing that sucks is that we have a 9.30 van pickup tomorrow. So that sucks, we don't have as much time here tomorrow as we did today, but it's all good. I'm gonna relax and enjoy the rest of my night so I can get up early but I want like oh when I tell y'all the favor of God okay I'm gonna show you guys the room tour so you can see how this room looks okay so here's the closet it just kind of has like a curtain thing but oh and we got two robes I think this was made for two people but that's all right I'm going to enjoy it by myself this nice little area look at this I have more of a full length hey y'all I have more of a full length mirror than I did I didn't even have a full length mirror the last time and if I want to sit look if I want to sit and do my makeup I can do that perfect so this is the bathroom look how huge this bathroom was if you guys watched the video from yes from yesterday like it was half of this size and they have two sinks more shampoo and stuff for me to take hey y'all and yeah like look at this space i have a large bathroom in my house but this is like wow like five people can easily fit in here so So when you come in, let me see if I can put some more light. Hold on. Let's get a little bit lighter in here. Okay. All right. So, um, look at this. This looks like someone's like bedroom. Look at this. This is so huge. The only thing, it doesn't have a uh, microwave, so I have to go and um heat up my food but you know what that's fine look at this i have a couch bam and a coffee table like look at that this looks like a studio apartment i got the bench in front of the bed again look how huge the bed is guys it gave me a nice size bed the decor is still the same i love the decor in here it's got a map of boston i believe downtown boston maybe i'm not sure if you're from boston I don't know if y'all can correct me, but I love this. Oh, this is so nice. I don't know if we can see the view. Let's see. Uh, the view is still not great because, like I said, this is more of an industrial area. So, but I'm not going to complain. space to run around <laughs> oh my god 
blush. So y'all, this totally makes up for the bath. Like, first of all, look at this. Do y'all see this? I cannot keep a manicure, nothing at this job. I, my, my natural nails, like they're, they're chipping and breaking. I didn't really have as big of a problem. But here, like with this job, because opening and closing bins and doing this and doing that, my nails don't last. Like either the nails are chipping and breaking or the polish on them is coming off. I don't do gel manicures or acrylic tips anymore. I haven't done that in a while. But honestly, I'm thinking I might have to go back and do that because I, I can't, like, walk around like this. I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. Um, but thankfully, tomorrow we deadhead back to New York, which means we're not working the flight. And then we just have a quick leg to, I believe, Cleveland or Cincinnati or something with the sea. I don't know. And then go back to New York, and then that's it. So, quick, easy, painless. But yeah, this, oh my goodness, I'm going to have to work the back. So, today I was flight leader, and I, like, the, the leg going there was okay, was, was, well, I'm still learning, I just say it like that. And if you are an aspiring flight attendant, or if you're a new flight attendant like I am, then this is something that you'll kind of learn. When you're starting out, you're not going to get everything perfect. You're not going to get everything 100% right. You're going to forget things. and I mean, it's just a reality because this job, although it's not difficult, there are a lot of steps and it's just repetition. So if you're not constantly flying, if you're not constantly being active, you're going to forget some things. So that's what was happening with me on this first leg out. But the leg, the leg back to Boston, because we went from Boston to Milwaukee and then Milwaukee back here to Boston. The flight going back here to Boston was better than the flight going, like, because we didn't have a lot of time. So by the time we got up there, I didn't have enough time to, like, set up my cart and get everything the way that I wanted to. And then the gate agent was like, oh, we're ready to board now. They didn't even tell me they were boarding. I just see passengers coming down, and I'm, like, still trying to set up. But, you know, I, I pulled it together and, you know, it was a good flight. We got the most important thing in any flight is that you get there safely. That's it. Your passengers are there. Their stuff is there. Everyone's there safely. That's it. You know what I mean? So, I'm not going to worry about it. But I know through time it will get better. If you are a new, like I said, if you're a new flight attendant like I am, it'll, it'll get better. That's all I keep saying to myself. I try not to stress about it too much. You know, I pray before every flight. I know God is with me, so yeah, I do the best that I can, and that's it, you know. But this wonderful hotel suite that I have tonight makes up for any difficulties I had today, so I'm excited about that. But yeah, like I said, guys, tomorrow I deadhead, so thankfully I don't have to work the first flight. So even though I have an early, um, Van pickup time, it's at 9.30, so I'm not going to stay up late like I did last night. Last night, I didn't go to bed till like 2 o'clock in the morning, but I can't I can't do that tonight. Um, but yeah, at least I'm, I'm deadheading, which means I'm not working the flight, so I can just kind of sleep. And uh, then working a quick leg to Cleveland? Something with a C. I'll tell you guys tomorrow when I'm like refreshed somewhat. But anyway, guys, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. Good morning. I didn't have time to vlog. I was just in a rush this morning. I still am, but I um, oh, we had a we have an early pickup, but I rushed down here. Oh my mom. I rushed down here because we're supposed to have a 9:30 pickup, and I get down here a little bit after 9:30, but then I see two pilots waiting for the 9:30 shuttle. So the shuttle is late, and I'm like, okay. I didn't even need to, I mean, I was running late, but still, and then I don't see my flying partner for today. I guess she um, hasn't come down yet either, so, like, if I would have known that, I would have <laughs> took my time, and then the clock in my room is five minutes fast, so I kept rushing, thinking that I was, like, really late, and I wasn't, so.
better yesterday. But anyway, y'all. Okay, can see if I just I put on the dress today. This black sweater is mine. So anyway, this is the last day of a three-day trip. We are dead heading back to New York, and then from New York, we're going to Cleveland, and then back to New York. So, but I don't get into till late. It's like we have to get up super early, but technically don't start working until this afternoon or this evening. So that makes you kind of more tired, you know? But um, yeah, I just wanted to check in with you guys since I couldn't do it in the room since I was rushing. But I, um, I'm still like so sleepy, so sleepy. The alarm went off this morning. I couldn't even get up, but um, yeah, I will talk to you guys later.